Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sanbanani, Kuyanan, Tabela, Professor Deborah Mayer, the Executive Dean, Faculty of Science. Our distinguished guest tonight, Professor Giovanni Hearn, the inductee. Also another distinguished guest, Professor Dal Commons, who's our respondent from Wits University. Senior leaders of the university, members of Senate and other academics, and a particular word of wel welcome to the department, uh, the academics from the Department of Physics, as well as the students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great honor and special privilege for me to welcome you to the professorial inaugural address of Professor Giovanni Hearn. As I do so, I wish to express a warm welcome to his loved ones, his wife and uncle are here this evening, and also to his other special guests and colleagues. Indeed, today is a proud and joyful, yet a landmark moment for all of us, and of course, for Professor Hearn. Today, inaugurations, many at times, often seem to be pompous and decadent, but hopefully mostly dignified, well-meaning and unsullied. Date back to the ancient Greece as the opportunity for the formal investiture of a person into high office and it marks the formal assumption of office or position of authority. And so today is a day that marks the rite of passage and the entry of Professor Hearn into the distinguished community and hallowed halls of the university's most senior scholars. It's indeed an office and a position of authority and leadership which we shall not assume lightly, but shall do so with considerable and ongoing thought and reflection, deliberation and presence of mind. I am of course reminded that inaugurations usually follow well after the actual appointment to the role or the post and are often a test and an indication as to the whether the incumbent still finds the now somewhat older role or office as interesting as at the time of the interview. And so we shall observe Professor Hearn tonight with more than an ordinary level of interest. Ladies and gentlemen, I remarked earlier that the professorial inauguration is as important to the incumbent and their loved ones and colleagues as it is to the university. I say this, that since the inaugural lecture is as much a reflection on the state and the intent of the contemporary university and how it measures up to Professor Hearn's inaugural lecture, which is entitled, Windows into the Properties of Material at Extreme Conditions. The pressure is on. Fabulous title. On these auspicious occasions, I often remark on and remind us of Gregorian's hopefulness and controversy when he announced to us, and I quote, universities are not only repositories of past human endeavor, they are the instruments of civilization. They provide tools for learning, understanding, and progress. They are the wellspring of action, a source of self-renewal, intellectual growth, and hope. They are a medium of progress, autonomy, empowerment, independence, and self-determination. End quote. I'm also reminded that very few books are available in decent bookstores on what it is to be a professor, and in particular what the freedom and duties of this most senior scholar of the university has to be. And in this regard, I offer you one of the few reflections on intellectual leadership in higher education a book that was written by Bruce McFarlane, who's also one of our uh, visiting, distinguished visiting professors from uh, Hong Kong. His book is entitled Renewing the Role of the University Professors. And in the book, he seeks to correct the oversight and neglect on the senior echelons of university and argues very convincingly that given the corporatization of the research agenda, professors must reclaim professorial leadership, and that they thus occupy a very special role in the academy. Specifically, McFarlane argues that two freedoms, namely that of critic and advocate, 
are essential for professors to execute and that as part of their duties they have to serve as mentors, as guardians of standards, as enablers of networking and mobiliser of resources for others and importantly as ambassadors for the institution and the discipline. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening we will have one small insight into how Professor Hearn responds to this call for the return of professorial leadership. Let me now invite the Executive Dean of Science, Professor Mayer, to introduce Professor Hearn. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Riala Boga, Sia Bonga, by Danke. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.